Hi, I'm Elizabeth at the Radford Public Library with a book recommendation for you. And that's for this new juvenile fiction book, which is titled Everything Sad is Untrue, A True Story. It's written by Daniel Nairi, and it came out in 2020, I think in August. And as I mentioned, it's a juvenile fiction. It really could be also a teen book. Some libraries have put it in both locations. Um, this story is told about a young boy named Kosru, who was called Daniel because people can't pronounce his name, like me. And Daniel, the main character, is a, a young boy who comes from Iran with his mother and his sister. They are refugees who have left for religious reasons, and their father has stayed behind. And they relocate to Oklahoma, where uh, they live, if not in poverty, definitely not in the manner to which they were accustomed in Iran, where Daniel's mother was a medical doctor. In America, she's not able to find very good work. And so the family struggles, and this is the story of Kosru, or Daniel's life. I think he's about 12 years old in this story and in fifth grade. Uh, I get the... Um, Details a little confused because the author is also Kosru Nayiri, renamed Daniel. Uh, and although this is a fiction, uh, it is somewhat true of his personal experience as a young man coming to the United States with his mother and sister from Iran. And it is a tough story in lots of ways, but so worth the reward of reading it. It's such a beautiful story. Daniel, the main character, is a beautiful storyteller and he tells stories not in a linear way. There's not this clear beginning, middle, and end. Rather, it's more like, uh, I think they, um, he, the main character, calls it a patchwork of stories or like a tapestry of stories where it doesn't go in a certain linear fashion. And Daniel, having left his father behind and grandparents, he has so many memories of where he used to live and you know what the birds were like, what the food was like, what his home was like, what his friends are like. And here in class, in fifth grade, he's in Mrs. Miller's class. He doesn't fit in. He's the only Persian boy in the classroom. He's very much bullied and mistreated by a couple of people in particular. He's got a wonderful teacher who encourages him to tell his stories and try to stay on task of his stories, but they really are meandering stories. And it's this book is almost 400 pages long, and it doesn't have clear chapters. They're not numerical chapters. Uh, so it could be perhaps challenging for some young readers, but I would say it is highly worth the effort of reading. It's so beautifully told. The stories are... Uh, kind of heart-wrenching and very moving and uh, I really appreciated learning about this child's experience and his take on life um, having moved from one place that's so significantly different from another and really learning a different culture, learning a new language and trying to navigate through the changes that his family is experiencing. So. Again, the book is titled Everything Sad is Untrue, A True Story, written by Daniel Nayiri or Kosru Nayiri. And we do have it here at the Radford Public Library in the juvenile section. And I would like to link a YouTube video about this author um, to you because it's wonderful to hear from him and his explanation of this gorgeous story. And very quickly before I let you go, I want to read what this um, young boy Daniel says about reading and the meaning or the benefit of reading. It's on page 333. He says, reading is the act of listening and speaking at the same time with someone you've never met but love. Even if you hate them, it's a loving thing to do. You speak someone else's words to yourself and hear them for the first time. What you're doing now is listening to me in the parlor of your mind, but also speaking to yourself, thinking about the parts of me you like or the parts of me that aren't funny enough. Anyway, I highly recommend this book. Again, it could be a little bit challenging for um, some readers, but it is well worth the effort. 
and it could be something that you as an adult if you're listening <laughs> you might really enjoy reading it yourself he has so many brilliant things to say about um, parenting and it really his mother is the hero of this story she's such a brilliant fully realized character who he definitely based on the author based on his mother um, okay I think that's all I have for you um, this is according to Publishers Weekly a rare treasure of a book and I second that I hope you will give this book a chance and read this rare treasure of a book thanks take care and we hope to see you soon at the Radford Public Library